Kumbuka kwamba mkuu wa huduma ya Oma mtazamaji ambaye ni bwana Joseph Kinywa atakuwa anafanya mkutano dakika chache zijazo kuhusiana na matarisho ya mazishi ya mwenda zake ile kwa rais pili mzee Daniel Moi katika chumba cha Harambe ambapo basi wana habari tu wamekita kambi pale watakuwa wanatupa mengi zaidi na mnarifu kwamba wako tayari naomba tuleke kule moja kwa moja tupate taarifa yake Joseph Kinyo mkutano katika chumba cha Harambe ambao kipenda Harambe House ambapo tunamtarajia Joseph Kinywa atakuwa anatoa taarifa kamili kuhusiana na mipango kamili ya safari ya mwisho ya mzee aliyekuwa rais wa pili Daniel Toritich Arap Moi aliaga dunia siku ya juzi mtazamaji watu mbalimbali kutoka huduma kwa umma ambao wamekita kambi pale katika chumba hicho cha Harambe watakuwa natoa mipangilio kamili kuhusiana na kuanzia siku ya jana hadi mzee atakapozikwa wiki ijayo mtazamaji na nikuwa kama alivyotangaza familia siku ya juzi basi Shuli kamili zimeza kuchukuliwa na maafisa wa jeshi ambao wataendesha shuli kamili mpaka atakapozikwa mzee ama atakapompa kwa heri za mwisho mzee shuli hiyo basi ikitajiwa kufanyika kule Kabarak County ya Nakuru nyumbani kwake Rais Daniel Arap Moi basi alikuwa ama aliongoza taifa la Kenya kwa miaka 24 kama rais na vile vile kumka kwamba alikuwa makamu wa rais wakati huo kuanzia mwaka 1970 eh, nam samahani lakini alikuwa makamu wa rais kufikia mwaka 1978 alipoaga dunia rais wa mwanzilishi wa Kenya hayati mzee Jomo Kenyatta na nikuwa alikuwa makamu wa rais kwa muda wa miaka kumi na mine baada hapo basi mwaka 1978 akachukua hatamu za uongozi kuanzia basi mwaka huo akaongoza taifa la Kenya kwa muda wa miaka 20 na mine hadi alipostafu mwaka 2020 na mwaka 2022 na ambapo basi wakati huo aliongoza taifa la Kenya rais Mwai Kibaki alichukua hatamu za uongozi basi akaongoza taifa la Kenya hadi mwaka 2012 na kumi na mbili ambapo rais Uhuru Kenyatta wakati huo mwaka 2013 na na akiwa na naibu wake William Ruto walichukua sukani wa serikali kufikia sasa basi wa Kenya wamekuwa kitoa rambi rambi zao kwa familia yake mzee Moi kwa kumkumbuka kwa njia tofauti na wengi wakiwa wanasiasa wameweza kukiri jinsi Moi alivyowatunza kama wanasiasa alivyowafunza hadi basi wakakomaa katika ulingo wa siasa wengi wakijivunia kwamba basi walipata mengi kutoka kwa uongozi wake na kusema kwamba basi Kenya huenda itapata kiongozi mwingine kama Rais Moi. Nakumbuka mwaka elfu moja kenda mia sabini na nane Moi alisema kwamba alikuwa akitembea katika nyayo za hayati mzee Jomo Kenyatta baada ya kuaga na tunauliza swali baada ya kuondoka kwake Moi mamlakani nyayo zake nani atatembelea. Tupate taarifa hiyo kwa sasa. The briefing shall be conducted by the head of public service Dr. Joseph Kinywa who is also the chairman of the committee. He will be assisted by other committee members who are all uh, with him here. I also like to state that uh, the family of the head of state, the former head of state is also represented here and they've also been part of the uh, barrio arrangement. After the briefing, you will be allowed a few minutes of questions, but as you get the opportunity, please stick to the scope of uh, this briefing. And also don't forget to mention your name and the media house that you represent. With those few remarks, I would like now to invite the head of public service uh, to make the briefing. Please, sir. Uh, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, fellow Kenyans, thank you for joining us for this update on the arrangements for the state funeral of the great uh, former president, His Excellency Honorable Daniel Troitich Alapmoy. In keeping with the presidential proclamation, proclamation issued by His Excellency the President upon the passing on of the second president of the Republic of Kenya, the former president will be accorded a state funeral with full civilian and military ceremonial honors. To that end, we constituted a steering committee to coordinate all the state ceremonies leading up to the state funeral. And the members of that steering committee are here with us, with me. Following consultations with the family of the former president, we wish to inform the nation that the state funeral and the ceremonies leading up to the interment of former President Moi, Mze Moi, will be as follows. One, to allow our nation to reflect on President Moi's momentous role and achievements and to accord all Kenyans the opportunity to participate in public viewing and the paying of last respects to the state, to the former head of state and government. The body of the president, Daniel Alap, uh, Toritish Alap Moy, shall lie in state in parliament from Saturday, 8th February 2020 to Monday, 10th February 2020. Second, His Excellency Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces will, on Saturday, 8th February 2020, lead the nation in view of the body of the former president, as well as the paying of last respects. The head of state is expected to arrive at Parliament buildings at 10.15 a.m. on Saturday, 8th February 2020. All state officials whose attendance is required by tradition and state protocol have been notified and they are therefore requested to be in the presence of the parliament by 9.45 a.m. on Saturday. Three, the public viewing at parliament buildings will be done on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Next, the cottage will leave the funeral home at 8.05 a.m. on Saturday, 8th February 2020, and will be conveyed to Parliament buildings with a casket being draped in the national flag and escorted by the family of President Moy. Six, the solemn procession is expected to take the following route. Valley Road, Kenyatta Avenue through to Parliament Way. A military guard of honor will be mounted on Parliament Road for the entry procession to Parliament. Seven, after lying in state for three days, on Tuesday 11th February 2020, the gun carriage and state funeral procession will make its way from Parliament building to Nyao Stadium, the venue of the National Memorial Service. Eight, the National Memorial Service will be an interdenomination Christian service presided over by clergy from all denominations. Nine, the government continues to receive messages of condolences from foreign governments, and we are in the process of compiling. Somebody can get. I'm being assisted by the wheat. <laughs> compiling the list of heads of state and government and other foreign dignitaries who have indicated to us that they, they shall attend the state memorial service. The full list of attendees will be announced to the nation in due course. Ten, to enable every Kenyan to participate in the celebration of the life of, the, of President Moi, the Cabinet Secretary for Interior, on the recommendation of this steering committee, has declared Tuesday, the 11th 
day of February 2020, a public holiday of general observance throughout the Republic of Kenya. The former head of state will be accorded full military ceremonial honors, which shall include conveyance of the body of the former head of state under escort in a gun carriage accompanied by military musical honors and a 19 gun salute. The former president will thereafter be interred at his Kabarak home on Wednesday, the 12th day of February year 2020. Fellow Kenyans, the government encourages all Kenyans to participate in the state ceremonies and to also take time to honor the memory and legacy of the great Mze Moy by reflecting on the ways in which each one of us can foster the wellness of our nation by creating a more peaceful, loving, and united Kenya. Condolence books are open at the office of the president. All county commissions, offices across the country, and in our Kenyan high commissions, embassies, and missions abroad. In addition to other ways of remembering and honoring the late Mze Moi, we encourage each and every Kenyan to plant a tree in his memory or undertake an act of benevolence for the most needy members of our society. All arms of government and all state officials are expected to participate in the state ceremonies outlined area. Those events will be broadcasted live by all our national television and radio stations, a move that will ensure that Kenyans in every part of the republic will be able to take part in giving the Red Mze Moy a, bef a befitting set off. On behalf of His Excellency the President, the government of Kenya, the steering committee, and indeed all the people of Kenya, I once again extend our most heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of the great Mze Moy. May the grace, peace, and comforting shoulder of the almighty God of all creation be with them and indeed with all Kenyans during this time of mourning and ceremony reflection. As intend sana. Thank you so much. Uh, now you have an opportunity to ask two questions only. How many? Can you can you raise your voice a little bit? Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for that question. Yes, indeed, uh, it will be open for the uh, public. The program for the first day will be the head of state himself will be the first person to uh, undertake that aspect that is so important for us, followed by the family members and the dignitaries. Then right at end, we have the two days. It will be open to all the general public that can be able to attend. But it will be managed in a manner where we would not want to see you know, commotion that may spoil uh, the event. Thank you so much. The last one. Well, thank you very much uh, uh, for that question. In terms of uh, uh, managing and ensuring under entry into parliament to view the body, 
we have uh, made arrangements where our men uh, from uh, uh, the security side and also helped by the National Youth Service to ensure that there is order in terms of how they can be able to access. And we will also, before Saturday, even tomorrow, be helping people through our spokesperson to ensure they know how they can be able to access and how they should do it in a manner which then ensures we have a peaceful ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day. Uh, this is not the first and the last media briefing that you're going to have. So additional information shall be provided. Thank you.